How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Hopefully everyone is having a lovely day. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, let's talk a little, I mean, we, we already know what it is. There's, there's no secret about it that uh, starting a franchise quarterback, Joe Burrow, still does not have a contract with the Cincinnati Bengals. We are closing up the uh, preseason. Bengals are about two weeks out of starting regular season games. And really it's regular season games here on out. And you gotta think we're, we're getting really close. Um, all off season is like, that's ah, not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Wasn't concerned. You know, the Bengals typically you wait till August till the contract gets signed. Take, we've seen it wait till September until the contract gets signed. For that reason, it's like, yeah, you still kind of have to be a little patient, but you can't help the be, but a little bit antsy. I mean, we're almost the end of August. And Joe Burrow's yet to sign a contract. You want this guy to be on your team for as long as possible with the Bengals. And there's obviously a couple of reasons this contract still might not be done. The Bengals or the Burrow here actually might be saying, hey, when, when T. Higgins gets his deal done, Come talk to me. You know, well, they've already talked to him, but you know, let's let's finalize the deal. But let's make sure we get these weapons locked down. Let's make sure the rest of these players get paid. Come back to me. We'll see what's left on the table. There might also be, unfortunately, you know, other reasons that might be the Bengals organization's fault, which concerns you a little bit, saying, hey, maybe they want 10 years, bro says I want five. You know, you, you say 10 years because your six, seven, eight, nine, and ten would be absolute steals. If you lock the quarterback down, just like Mahomes would be seeing, I mean, Mahomes is already seeing it. In Kansas City, because of his contract and money, he's or the, the Chiefs are saving with that long term contract because the, the market continuously goes up, the cap continuously goes up. So maybe Bengals want a longer term deal, Burrow not feeling it. Maybe uh, Burrow's willing to deal and they say, Well, I need more guaranteed money, Burrow says. The problem with that is uh, Joe Burrow has not had a full, healthy offseason um, with the Cincinnati Bengals since he's been on the team which concerns you said, hey, injury prone a little bit, guaranteed money. It is your franchise quarterback. You don't want to think about the worst. You hope the worst never happens. But you know, as an organization, you do think about that. You don't want to tie yourself down in that situation. So there is multiple reasons to say uh, the Bengals and Joe Burrow still have not inked that deal. They might just be waiting to say, waiting to say hey, let's make sure you're 100% healthy. He's already been talked about. He's going to play week one. And I mean, no surprise there. But let's make sure you're healthy. Let's make sure everything's good to go. Let's talk contract. But uh, again, you get a little bit more antsy because you don't want to see this guy go into the season without a contract. You don't want to see T. Higgins go into the season without a contract. But you have to remember, it's kind of been Bengals protocol, Bengals history to say, let's well, let's wait till the last minute. And you understand why they do it. Again, the injuries. Last thing you want to see happen is a guy tear an ACL or have some sort of horrible injury. You miss him for that year. Um, you don't know what he's going to be when he comes back. So understandably, so on the business side of things, you just, as a Bengals fan, you, you don't want to do anything to upset your players at the same time. So it's it's that fine line that worries you. I think the later you get to the season starting, that's when you start to wonder, is there cracks in the foundation or is there is there an issue going back and forth here? Thankfully, these two uh, sides agreed. We're, we're going to keep things in house. We're not going to put it out in the public, but still you can say, the longer you wait, the more likely something like that pops up. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully the Bengals get something done here. Remaining optimistic. Love you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.